Hey, what's up guys? Back with uh, another DIY on the Lexus IS250 today. I'm gonna um, be uh, showing everybody how to install the sport pedals that came with the F Sport, the luxury package, and I think the sport package and the X package back in the day. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward um, install as far as the, the pedals go. The you know, there's the brake pedal, the foot rest, and then the accelerator. The accelerator pedal is probably the hardest part. And then I'll, I'll kind of show you how to do that one. So to start off with, we'll, we'll take a look at uh, the parts that you'll need. You'll need the foot pedal, um, the foot rest, which is, this is the part number right here. So this one, right now, it goes for about $35, $36 on eBay. Um, then you'll need the, the brake pedal cover. So this is the part number for the brake pedal cover right here and this thing goes for about 42 43 dollars right now on ebay this is uh, march of uh, 2019 um i saw on ebay they sell a a a whole kit with these three and the accelerator pedal for like 120 anywhere from 110 to 120 dollars which when you do the math it's actually more than buying these things individually so you're better off buying them individually the accelerator pedal is only like fourteen dollars and it's uh, it fits the the 06 all the way up to the 13 and uh back in the day when i first started this i remember somebody uh actually using the ones off the one is uh, sport pedal it fits also um the one thing that didn't come back then uh, on it was so this is uh I, i'm i rigged this thing to this is actually off of um for the manual clutch and brake pedals and i'm actually using it to uh to rig onto the 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 merge or the parking brake on this car because there's not they don't have one of these for the parking brake so it matches the rest of them and the one thing with with this guy is if you take a look um it comes it's a st normal slip on like the brake you know whatever slips on but what i did was i actually used the razor blade right here I cut off, you know, th th this piece right here, which is just, uh, you know, one of the, 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 the covers or the, the grips on here. And I drilled a hole, I drilled the hole right there and I put a screw on there. And uh, I put a washer in here. If you look close, I have a, a screw, a washer. And then on the back side, I wanna use another washer and a nut. And I'm gonna screw that onto the, parking brake cover on the car. There's already a hole on the pedal, so it makes it pretty easy. It it holds it pretty securely uh, once you screw it on and then you, you just super glue this piece back right onto the there and most people will never notice that you did that. Because <laughs> since this pedal is not used that often, except when you're using the parking brake, um, it probably won't get much wear and it, it'll, it'll, it should hold up pretty fine on when just screwing it in like that with that one screw so so um down here looking at the pedals this is the e-brake pedal that we were talking about that's the foot rest and that's the the brake cover and the brake pedal and all this stuff pretty much snaps off uh, this is the hard the the foot rest is probably the hardest part you gotta pop this thing out and I'll show you what you need to do when you pop that thing out um, as you can tell my accelerator pedal already has a sport pedal on it that's because um, I got that a couple years ago when they had that uh, yeah, pedal recall one of my friends at Lexus ended up just putting the sport pedal on for me instead of the, the regular um, black pedal but <clears throat> to change that out you actually have to remove the whole assembly from the car which is two uh, I believe 10 millimeter uh, nuts up there uh, one's pretty easy you can see it right there right in this spot right here the other one's up up above this panel so you actually have to drop this panel with the two screws and the clips um, yeah there's two screws on either side and the clips and you you get that out and uh, to access the second screw in the back and the whole pedal just drops and it plugs in and I'll go ahead and do that and show you guys how to um, take that pedal off it's
so we got the pedal out. Um, as you can tell, it's it was pretty easy. Once you loosen the screw, you can hand unscrew everything. But uh, <clears throat> and then just drop it down, and there's a single plug up top here that uh, you just unplug out of the harness, and it comes right out. So so you can see the pedal itself, um, the part number located on the back of it is. Let me see. Anyway, you see the, the pen right there that you gotta tap out. So I'll show you guys how to tap that out real quick. If you have a regular pedal, so you could install the sport pedal. I found a little bit that I have. It's a little Allen key bit that will work well as a punch. If you have the, if you actually have a punch, it will actually work better. But since I don't have one or I can't find one right now, I might just use this. Just put it right in the center. Make sure it, oh crap. Tap it through and get something that's longer that will get in there. An Allen key. Just tap it the rest of the way through. The pin falls right out. Right here. Pin out and this baby comes right out. So, so if you take a look at um what came out so it comes right uh, out of here the the pin and it's this pin that came out it's a, it's a little self compressing pin they just pin right out the actual pedal itself take a look at it has got the hole in it right there for you Yep, so you got, you see the hole for the pen, and a pretty basic pedal. Alright, so the reinstall of the pen is uh, basically the reverse of the removal. So I put it back in, line the pen up, and just straighten that out. And uh, probably re reposition this too, because you're not trying to hammer it through, so you, you actually have some support on the back side. Back together. Take a look at it right here. It's there. So just get it basically flush, and you're good. So um, one of the things I noticed as I, put, I was putting this back together was when they did the pedal recall on this particular car, all they did was replace the actual pedal head with a shorter one. Because yeah, uh, if you guys didn't know, a couple years ago with the whole un tenant acceleration and people getting their pedal stuck under the floor mats they shortened the pedal so it wouldn't get stuck so I, I always thought that they had replaced the whole assembly including this part but what it looked like from the marks I saw on, on the pedal that they just hammered out the old one and just put the shorter pedal on uh, I know for like some of the other cars like the Camry and some of the Toyotas where the pedal is actually a molded pedal. They couldn't do this, so they replaced the whole assembly, which was probably a lot more costly versus a $15 pedal. So that's one of the things I noticed taking this off. So this must this this appears to be the original um, you know the pedal assembly that came with the car. They just changed the, the the actual pedal itself at the end with a shorter sport version for my car but uh, if your car had the recall done it probably has a shorter plastic one <clears throat> all right so we're inside the car right now we're gonna reinstall the pedal up here so let's see kind of upside down view first thing you want to do is just plug in the the pedal get the Get it back in the holes, two holes there, and um, so you go up there. You got two 10 millimeters, so just go ahead and hand tighten them. I do the one that on the front side first, and then the harder the reach one back here. You just have to, depending on how big your hands are, 
you just gotta reach up in there and uh, get it. Just make sure you don't uh, drop it. All right, just yeah. Once you get that nut in the, the the nut in there, just hand thread it in. Hand thread it in both sides, just and then tighten it with the the wrench once you have it. So that looks like they're all hand tightened. So I'm the camera set back up. I'm gonna just put my ratchet back on and tighten the two 10 millimeters for my pedal. So, uh, so that's done. I popped this panel off earlier that was getting in the way just so we could see more and do, do everything on these. First thing I'm gonna do is the, the brakes, the brake pedal. So this one's probably the easiest one. You just get the wire out of the way. So you, the, the, the original one, all you do is just grab one of the corners, just lift it. <clears throat> oh, we'll get some gloves because this crap's dirty as hell from all the shit that's been here over the years. So, take the old one off, uh, you know, dust off whatever you need to do on, on this old pedal because of all the grime and shit that's on here. Um, all right, we're gonna try to put the <clears throat> this baby on back on right now. So, what I think I found it. Easiest is put put a little WD-40 inside the the new pedal first. And just wedge it in. You gotta get the the top and bottom little tabs popped in, and then yeah, you just squeeze it in there. And perfect. So it's clamped it clipped on just check all around the edges make sure everything all the, the tabs are clipped in bottom top good there so that baby back on perfect so the next thing you want to do is um, get the footrest the footrest the existing one you pop right off what use uh what I'm gonna use is this this thing uh, my clip poppers so just kind of wedge it in there if you once you get your fingers under it just pop it right out the one thing that when it pops out is it pops out <clears throat> and then it leaves behind if you look on here the these um these push in um things that push into a, a screw down there so if you don't <clears throat> If your old ones aren't brittle and that they're still good, meaning all the clips around them are fine, then you could actually leave them in there and just pop the ones off your, your new one. And you use a, a clip popper or a, a um, something just to release the clips on both sides, a pair of needle nose pliers works also. So you pop it out of here the uh, two teeth and then you just <clears throat> push the new one in there if your old ones are brittle you know being they're 10 or more years old you might want to just unscrew those things out so you could unscrew these things out like this right here just put your finger in there and unscrew it out so just put your needle nose in there Turn it a couple times and then pull it right out. And take the old ones out. Your, your new one, just put it right back in the hole. If you have dirt and dust, maybe you wanna vacuum this up. Um, all the crap that's stuck back here. Put it back in, line the holes up. Snap it right back in. It's back in perfect. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is uh, get this. Uh, let me tuck this wire so you don't 
not in the way, but I'm gonna do the emergency brake or the parking brake. Um, so the, the original one comes right off like that pretty easily. So now, you know, this one I've already done the screw. I've made it, um, you know, put the washer and the nut in. And you can tell this is a pretty big hole there, right? So all I do is just kind of get it centered onto there, into the hole, get the new washer, just put it in the back, and then get the nut back there. You know, get a screwdriver in here and just tighten this baby as good as you can there. The big Phillips out here. Screw it as tight as you can. Uh, you don't want to go too tight because you actually it's being held on by the rubber. So you just tight enough so it doesn't you know it doesn't wiggle and move if you ever use it. And then uh, get a, a drop of super glue into the hole right there and and just put the cover on it. What I'm gonna end up using is uh, actually the gel super glue from um, Harbor Freight. I had some of this laying around. But I'm just gonna fill in the, the hole, uh, screw and everything to cover it up. Put some more on the actual the piece of cover and just let it sit on there you don't get it everywhere all right so there we have it guys uh, got the brake pedal the parking brake the footrest and everything installed onto the car all cleaned up um, you know pretty easy nice upgrade uh, makes the car look a lot better when you're getting in and out of it sportier um, look so um, if you guys like the D DIY video just uh, like subscribe comment uh, ask me any questions uh, you might want to know about this upgrade but it's a pretty uh, nice upgrade for uh, less than a hundred bucks if you get all these parts